Right, so today I'm going to show you what's inside a Sunny Boy disconnect and uh, how to install it. So this is a uh, typical Sunny Boy disconnect that you install on the bottom of the uh, inverter. And um, first thing you got to do um, is to open up the front cover. And um, to open the front cover, you first have to turn the switch to the off position. Right, to the horizontal position, that's off position. And then um, on the right side of the disconnect, you see a small hole. And inside this hole, there's a screw. So you have to put in a screwdriver and unscrew, unscrew the, uh, the screw deep in there. And then you can pull this up. Okay. Now that's out of the way. There's also a, a bolt on the bottom here. Remove this bolt. Now you can lift this up like so. And pull it out. Lift it straight up. You see the this is the disconnect that uh, was connected to the uh, to this by just a single screw inside there, and the screw goes in here. And so this is what the inside of the disconnect looks like. Let me zoom in, so you can see more clearly. Uh, we got three connections here. Uh, on the left, the ungrounded, grounded, and on this side, we have the AC uh, connections. So ungrounded means positive. I don't know why they have to word it like this, which is a bit weird. But this is the positive. So all four connections here are positive. You can see the positive sign all the way at the corner over there. So this, these are uh, the positive uh, coming from the uh, a solar array. This is the negative. So uh, for these connections are uh, negative coming from the uh, solar panels. And this is the uh, AC lines. We got uh, line 1 hot, line 2 hot, neutral and ground. On the top here, we also have another connections for ground, and it's called grounded electrode conductor. This is when you have a an electrode that is pounded on the ground that uh, you want to connect directly onto this. But usually, uh, I don't really need to connect to this. Uh, all I have to do is connect to ground over here, and uh, that should be fine. On the left side, we also have a, another connection on the top here, and this is the uh, a positive a connection coming from the uh, uh, solar array, which is not really used much. I mean, four connections is more than enough. I mean, over here, positive. Uh, four connections is more than enough, so that is not really used much. And um, we have also fuses. And the top connection here, I believe, doesn't have a fuse going through it. These have to go through fuses. And the fuses are over here. And these are just pull out fuses. So just pull straight out. And here is the fuse. Uh, let me see what kind of fuse this is. I can't really see can you see that uh, it doesn't say how many amp here we go here is the fuse All right 
So to install this disconnect, all you gotta do is just to install positive coming from solar panel over here, negative over here, and then on this uh, four connections here we got AC. So just put in your AC connections. Uh, line 1 hot, line 2 hot, neutral and ground. And that's pretty much it. On the top of the disconnect, and the wires coming out are identical. This is the uh, PV from a solar array, and this these are the AC. So we got uh, neutral, ground, line one and line two, and that's pretty much it. Uh, pretty uh, straightforward, except that uh, when when I first trying to remove this cover, it's kind of a bit tricky. Uh, got a screw hidden all the way in there. You see that screw over there? But uh, other than that, uh, it's uh, quite straightforward. I have removed the switch from the case to show you what's inside. So that's the switch. Show you the bottom. So in this switch, all the AC line on the right side here, they are all connected together, not connected to the switch. The switch only turns on and off the DC line and that is the black wire right here. So I got my multimeter here to measure conductivity so if the wires touch you see the number change so let's show, let me show you all the DC line are being connected so line 1 is black line 2 is red you see the number jump this number there we go neutral is white and ground is green. There we go. And on the DC line, see, grounded is the white wire. Ungrounded is the black wire. You see here, it's not being connected because the switch is off. So let me turn on the switch. Try again, unground it with the black wire on the DC. See, it's being connected. So, this switch here only operates the black wire. And this is, the, this coloring is pretty weird. Usually, for DC, we use uh, the black color for ground or negative, and the red color for positive. And in this case, Sunny Boy use black wire for hot or positive white wire for ground this is pretty weird and somebody's gonna mess up but anyway um, that's the inside of this switch and uh, how it works All right, and uh, that's pretty much it uh, just a short video to show you what's inside this disconnect and uh, how to install it thanks for watching and I'll see you next time